What is good, y'all? It's Mikey T, the movie star. I'm back with another exclusive. You could call this one a breaking exclusive because it has to do with the relationship of AR Rab and Dark Low. Everybody has been out there asking me, Mikey T, we need confirmation. We need confirmation. Is AR Rab still messing with Dark Low? Does AR Rab still co sign Dark Low? Everybody is out there making judgments about the way AR Rab should feel about Dark Low. But today, I have an exclusive to detail how ARAB and Dark Low have been in contact. They've contacted each other, however, however brief or however they contacted each other, but Dark Low has explained himself to ARAB. And you know what, guys? That's only on them. That's on their relationship. Us out here, we can judge all we want about what's going on with Dark Low, but you don't know the conversations that Dark Low ha has with ARAB. But today you are going to find out because ARAB has wanted me to share his feelings on Dark Low with all of you. So everybody, thanks for tuning in. This is Mikey T, the movie star. Um, if everybody could follow me on Instagram, I'm going to follow you back. Mikey T underscore the movie star. Follow me and I'm going to follow you guys back. We can do any type of business you want. You know what I mean? If you just want me to post something on the gram or if you want me to get a question to ab, anything you guys want to do, I'm here for. Just shoot me a message. Follow me on the gram. Um, if I don't follow you right back, just you know, drop a message. Drop a, con uh, drop a comment on a picture. Be like, yo, Mikey T, I saw the video and I wanted you to shoot me a follow back. It's no problem, guys. I stay in tune with the viewers. But... Let's get into the exclusive for today. Today we are detailing the current relationship between ARAB and Dark Low. Today we're going to get into the into the message that ARAB sent me to let all the general public know. So let's get right into this. ARAB wanted me to clear up any misunderstanding that anybody has online about the the relationship with the OBH members. Ab said, make sure the world knows that Dark Low is sturdy and official. Arab continued, Dark Low never made a statement or told on anyone. So this is coming right from Arab. He says, Dark Low never made a statement or, and he never told on anyone. So that's right from Arab clarifying for everybody the fact that Dark Low is not a snitch. So anybody out there saying that Dark Low is a snitch because he had a conversation with the feds, that's not true, guys. Everybody's just assuming. This isn't a situation where you read between the lines. Let's look at the proof. Everybody has the two-hour conversation out there or the two-hour conversation with Dark Low and the feds, but that's not a statement. That's, a, that's an interview that Dark Low conducted with the feds. Arab is right here saying a man who, who, who has lawyers who have information to get the discoveries to tell who's ratting, to see who's writing statements. Uh, Arab is saying right here, Dark Low has never made a statement and he never told on anyone. Arab continued, he just took the case so his folks wouldn't get charged. Look at that. That's the situation right there. Dark Low had the conversation admitting to owning the weapon, the firearm, in the closet with the extended clip. Dark Low took all those charges on himself so his folks, so his family, so his girlfriend or his wife, none of them could get charged. You don't, you, everybody out there, you guys do not know the predicament that Dark Low's going through. Who knows that Dark Low's girlfriend has an 18-year-old son who they're possibly going to want to charge with the weapon. Now he's not a minor. He's, a, he's an adult. Now he's going up the river? No. Dark Low is sturdy. Dark Low is official, as Arab said in the beginning of this. So now everybody out there who has chastised and ridiculed Dark Low for having a conversation with the feds, it wasn't on Dark Low to explain to all of you why he had the conversation with the feds, but here he explained it to A.R. Ab. He said, and Ab said to us, he just took the case so his folks wouldn't get charged. Very easy to understand right there, guys. Dark Low didn't want any of his family members or his loved ones getting charged with what is his fault. 
Ab continued, and he's locked up for going at a rat. So that's why uh, Taz Taz has to do with this situation. Dark Low is locked up because he went at Taz. Dark Low isn't locked up for any other reasons involving the OBH federal indictment. Right now, Dark Low is locked up because he because he went after somebody that the government is working with, somebody that's got multiple bodies and they're working to convict somebody on drug charges. It really doesn't make sense to me. And they're taking a man who's sick. They're taking a man who's sick and they're holding him in jail for witness tampering. Taz is in jail. What sort of threat is Dark Low to a man who's already in jail? You just literally put Dark Low in the same position as Taz. Now I wouldn't be shocked if Dark Low actually does want to get at Taz while he's actually in that environment. So the government kind of created a problem in that aspect. So aside from all of that, I'm just glad that AR Ab was finally able to clear up this situation with Dark Low because the streets have been talking. And you know, now I hope this can put that to rest. AR Ab is standing beside Dark Low just like Dark Low stood beside AR Ab. That is true friendship. That is true honor right there. And Dark Low, just like Dark Low came out, if you all remember, Dark Low came out and let the world know that he is the one who actually befriended Taz. When Taz, when he met Taz in a jail, he befriended Taz. Taz came home. Him and Taz worked together. He told Taz, stay away from what I'm doing with the music industry. I obviously don't want you to get caught up in that. I know you're a jailhouse dude. I know you're a jailhouse dude, so stay away from my music industry associates. That's what Dark Low said that he that's what Dark Low told the feds, clearing that situation up. He told Taz to stay away from OBH. Taz's relationship with OBH was thin. A Dark Low everybody out there that is connected with Dark Low isn't necessarily connected with OBH, just so the world knows. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping I'm not breaking any feelings out there, but just because you think that you did a little bit of business with Dark Low, it doesn't necessarily mean you're OBH. In this case, Taz was not OBH, but Dark Low did the real thing. Dark Low did the thing a man would do, and he came out and he told the world before people had to quote-unquote expose Dark Low for befriending a snitch like Taz. He told the world, and now Dark Low, in jail, reaches out to A.R. Rab and tells him, listen, the reason I had that conversation with the feds is because my folks potentially could have got charged. It's really easy to put together, guys. I appreciate everybody for tuning in, though. Um, let me read this one more time. Arab said to me, he's like, make sure the world knows that Dark Low is sturdy and official. He never made a statement or told on anyone. He just took the case so his folks wouldn't get charged. And he's locked up for going at a rat. Free Dark Low. Free AR Ab. I appreciate it, everybody, for watching this video. Everybody that's watching, if you follow me on Instagram at Mikey T underscore the movie star, it's right there on the corner. If you follow me, I'm going to follow you back. We can do whatever you want, guys. If you need me to get a message to Ab, I can do it. If you guys want to get a video posted on the channel, we can work. Anybody wants an interview, holla at me, man. This is the new channel, Report Card Radio, Mikey T the movie star. Let everybody know. Salute.